All right, man, peace. You know, brothers, I recently did a video on Isaiah Thomas, the former undersized, very potent shooting guard slash point guard of the Boston Celtics and then the Cleveland Cavaliers, in which I stated that I believe that he's going to start to have a mental breakdown. And I think that as this season transpires and he sees that he's never going to be a starting point guard in the NBA again, that he is going to start to vent. So he's certainly someone to watch. He recently sat down with Kevin Hart and declared himself the best point guard in the NBA, <laughs> which caused Stephen A. Smith to have a conniption. Of course, they're going to talk about it, and I'm going to chime in. Uh, going back to the NBA guys, point guards. Isaiah Thomas was on Kevin Hart's Hold This Ball show and gave his list of Call This Ball show. Yeah, I just said that. Gave his list of the best point guards in the NBA, and he went with himself at number one. Steph Curry at two, Kyrie at three, Westbrook at four, John Wall at five, Lillard came in at six. Talk to me, Stephen A. Let me say this before Stephen A. chimes in. To be quite honest with you, I think that Isaiah Thomas has a great list outside of putting himself at number one, of course. And even he knows that he's not the number one point guard in the NBA or guard or what have you, because most of these point guards are not really point guards anymore. They're more combo guards. But I actually agree with his list. The only thing that I would change, of course, is him being number one. And I would switch John Wall and Damian Lillard. I would have Lillard at five, John Wall at six. Because as we all know, John Wall makes Russell Westbrook look like Steph Curry from the outside. Other than that, I pretty much like his list. But you know what? Let me change it again. I wouldn't even have John Wall at six or five per se. I would put, you know what, let me alter that. I wouldn't even have John Wall at six or really five per se once we omit Isaiah Thomas. I would have him at, I'll probably have him a notch below that because I would have to put Chris Paul over John Wall, definitely, and arguably over Damian Lillard as well. I have the list right here because I just ripped it's, through that fast. Well, well, first of all, Isaiah Thomas doesn't belong on the list. I respect him and I feel like... Let's be for real. Not only does Isaiah Thomas not belong on the list, at this point, the brother pride does not even belong in the NBA. I'm just keeping it funky right now. Like, not on the list at all. Not, of course, he's, not he, of course he's going to put himself he's not, he's not top five, let alone top one. And I respect Isaiah Thomas and I... The cat is not top 30. <laughs> and I want him to get paid because he's been robbed on too many cases, but he's not a top five point guard. Steph, you know, listen, we go from top to bottom. You can have a debate about Damian Lillard or John Wall. I would go to Damian Lillard, Rock, right, because he's a big shot. Even, As would I. Even though John Wall is efficient and he gets his over nine assists per game, he would be at You're going from five. five to one. That's okay. right. Right, but let's be for real about John Wall. John Wall is just mini Russell Westbrook. Great athlete. Loves to pass for assists, not a good shooter. He's a lesser version of Russell Westbrook. That's all he is. So I'm going for five to one. I'd have Damian Lillard at five. I'd have Kyrie Irving at four. I'd have Russell Westbrook at three. I'd have Chris Paul at number two because he's Mr. Efficiency. I don't mind your list, but I would put Kyrie right behind Steph Curry. I really would. I think that at this point, I'd take him over Chris Paul, even though it's close. Uh, in regards to Russell Westbrook, he's a wild card because he's such an unbelievable athlete. Russell Westbrook, can, he can put 40 on any of these guys. The issue is how many shots is it going to take and what type of decisions is he going to make down the stretch of the fourth quarter if the game is close. Extraordinaire, he's the quintessential prototypical great point guard in today's game, but Steph Curry is just the greatest shooter that I've ever seen. He's more than that though. He's not just the greatest shooter that you've ever seen or right up there with the greatest shooters that I've ever seen because I'm still not going to put him ab above Larry Bird. I think that they're neck and neck with one another. But Steph Curry can do so many things out there on the basketball court and he's one of the top five most impactful offensive players in the history of the NBA. He's right up there with Will Chamberlain, Michael Jordan as being one of the most transcendent and impactful offensive players in the history of the NBA. 26 a game on 17 shots a game. I gotta put him number one. Chris. That's what makes him great. Did you hear what Stephen A stated? Steph Curry averaging 26 a game on 17 shots a game. That's what puts him on a whole other level beyond these guys. I remember a while ago, many, many months ago, there was a Damian Lillard fan who was trying to go back and forth with me in regards to comparing Lillard and Steph Curry. He was saying that Damian Lillard can do everything that Steph Curry can do. I tried to edify him on the fact that, yes, Damian Lillard, if you squint your eyes, 
can play a lot like Steph Curry, but he just has too many of those three for 19 games. He reminds me a lot of Kobe. It's like comparing Kobe and Michael Jordan. Comparing Lillard and Steph Curry is like comparing Kobe and Michael Jordan. If you squint your eyes, you see somebody who's doing a very good impersonation, but he, he just has way too many inefficient games. Chris Paul, number two. I'd say one, two, three, four, five. Steph is one. Harden, two, I could, I mean, like a lot of these guys are combo guards nowadays. But I agree, they are combo guards, but I try to keep the definition relatively strict. But, but, but he is the primary ball handler a lot of the time. Steph Harden, Westbrook, three, CP, three, four, Kyrie, five. It is so gangster at point guard. Here are the guys who don't make the top five. Ben Simmons, Damian Lillard, the Greek freak then, who handles the ball a lot, brings it up. Stop it. Stop. Just stop. The Greek freak ain't no damn point guard. Brings it up the floor. Kemba Walker, John Wall. Time out. Kemba Walker does not belong in that class of top five NBA point guards. Time out. That is a crazy Time position. Out. Just so you know, for clarification purposes, when I think point guard, being a basketball guy, I'm thinking about being an orchestrator running a show. When I see James Harden handling the ball, even though he can pass, even though he can assist, he's usually handling the ball for himself, getting his shot off and dancing on you somebody. You're talking pure the point guard. I'm talking pure point pure guard. Pure point guard. If you're just talking pure point guard in terms of those skills, CP3 could be number one. Exactly. But I CP3 think you have to, not even on his list. To, but I, I think you have to factor in who's actually the better, more valuable but overall time player. Time out. Isaiah Thomas, am I correct? You said he didn't even have CP3 on his list? Yeah, he... Well, don't you see it right there in front of you? I mean, when you guys discussed the topic that morning, you didn't look at the list? <laughs> Ain't nobody paying attention to Isaiah Thomas. He's on his way to having a nervous breakdown. You wait until he gets on the floor for the Denver Nuggets and realizes how much better those other guards are than him. And then the fact that he plays no defense to begin with. The only way that you can have Isaiah Thomas out there on the floor as your starting point guard is if he's going to do what he did a couple of years ago in Boston. That being average about 29 points a game on about 47, 48% from the field. That's it. If he's not doing that, there's no need to have him out there on the floor because he can't guard anybody. He, he's no. got Steph Curry, Kyrie, Westbrook, John Wall, and Lillard. He doesn't, he's uh, I, not I, 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 The only thing keeping Ben Simmons off that list is the fact that he has to improve his jump shot. If Ben Simmons gets a jump shot that he can count on, he might jump to number two right behind Steph Curry. Isaiah, Isaiah Thomas has no business talking basketball. If he does not have, he's a point guard yeah. that doesn't have Chris Paul on the list, that's ignorant. All right, that is well, Steve, I have news for you. Not only will Isaiah Thomas not have to worry about talking basketball, he's not going to have to worry about playing basketball very soon, unfortunately for him. So anyway, peace.